One of the concepts that's been developed over the last decade or so in breast cancer is the concept of what's called neoadjuvant chemotherapy, meaning that rather than giving the chemotherapy after the surgery, the chemotherapy is given before the surgery. The reasons for that are a couple. Number one is to hope to shrink the tumor such that one might convert a patient who was not eligible for breast conserving surgery to one that can have breast conserving surgery. And the other benefit is to monitor the response of that patient's cancer to the chemotherapy that she is getting, when obviously we would not have that information if the chemotherapy is given after the surgery. One of the initial hopes was that by giving the chemotherapy before surgery, one might have a better survival. The idea being that if the surgeon manipulates the cancer and breast cancer cells are pushed into the circulation, that getting rid of all those cancer cells beforehand may result in a better outcome. Unfortunately, that did not happen. But for the two reasons I've mentioned, neoadjuvant chemotherapy is given to many women, uh, especially women with larger cancers that one hopes to convert to breast conserving surgery. The question comes up, in, in this case especially, if we have a superb response to chemotherapy, that is by physical exam or by MRI or by mammogram, we find that the cancer has disappeared, are we certain that we still need surgery? The answer to that question at this point is yes. No one has done a trial to date to look at the question of, are there patients who don't need surgery? One of the reasons for that is that there's no way that we can tell by any physical exam or radiologic modality that indeed there are no cancer cells left behind. Oftentimes when we have what's called a complete response clinically, that is by physical exam and by x-ray, we often find residual tumor in the tumor bed at the time of surgery, that surgery being either lumpectomy or mastectomy. So we, we don't know the answer to the question. Now, if in the future we have some technique to absolutely answer that question, then it would be a reasonable question to try to answer by some trial. When we do find at the time of surgery that there is no remaining cancer, then that's a, um, it gives us important prognostic information. The result there is called a pathologic complete response. That is, we find no cancer in the breast or the lymph nodes, and those patients do have a superior survival. But to date, we don't have information that would lead us to be able to not do surgery after neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.